Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Carol. We had high winds that did not stop from Monday afternoon all Monday night. They just kept me awake all night long. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is Tuesday. The wind blew until sometime this afternoon. And that, between that and the heat, look what it did to my squash. <laughs> It has just taken a beating. Um, I'm about to water everything. And see if I can help them out a little bit. But we sure did have wind. Just never ceasing. And high, high winds with gusts of 40 miles an hour. And we sure got tired of the wind blowing. But anyway. I am going to piece together a whole bunch of little videos. I did an experiment with different kind of drinking cups to see which one would keep ice frozen the longest. If you're interested in seeing what I found out, stay till the end. The video is not over, even though I say bye several times. It's not over until I say, okay, that is really the end. <laughs> All right, I think you're going to be amazed at how much, how long the ice lasted in this one cup. Okie dokie, I will talk to you tomorrow. Watch till I say, it, this is really the end. <laughs> okay, bye. Guys, if you've watched me very long, you know I'm like Deborah Joy. I've got like one good brain cell left. I started this experiment by putting ice in... One, two, three, four containers. This was one of them. And leaving it sitting on my on the top of my stove to see how long it would take for the ice to melt. I know I did a video on it. I know I did. I just went to piece them all together. And I had deleted that one. <laughs> but I have a still picture. <laughs> so I'm going to put the still picture in here. You, if you look, you can see the time is 7.30 in the morning. This was on Monday morning. And then I checked back several times during the day. That ice lasted longer than I ever thought. Okay, I'm going to piece the other videos that I didn't delete here until I get to the end. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> with this experiment that I deleted the first portion of. <laughs> okay, it's been six hours since I first put the ice in the containers. Of course, you know, the glass couldn't keep it frozen. But this cup has done really well. It was 7.30 when I put it in there. It's now 1.30. So that cup has done well. This is the Pioneer Woman cup. It hasn't done as well, but for six hours, I think that's pretty good. And then this big cup my daughter got me did really well, too, I think. But this one has done the best. So I'll probably check it in maybe three more hours. Okay guys, it's time for me to turn the oven on to bake some taquitos. So I'm going to move these over to the counter. Um, between 4.30 and 6.50, the, water, the ice completely melted in the Pioneer Woman cup, but it lasted a good long while. This is the huge cup my daughter bought me, and it's melted quite a bit, but there's still plenty of ice down in there. The water's cold, and the Yeti knockoff cup is doing good. I may have to stay up all night to, to find out exactly when all that ice melts. I'll be back. Okay, it's 10.43 p.m. So that has been 15 hours and 15 minutes. This one has finally melted. There's a few chunks of ice in there, but not much. This is the cup. Um, and that ice... It's done great. 
So if you had a drink in this one, it would stay cold for 15 hours. <laughs> I hope this did not bore you to death, but I just like to uh, do experiments and figure things out. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, guys. It is 1.55 in the morning, and let's see if we have any ice left. Well, yes, we do. If I can get this off my hand. There we go. Okay, I put that ice in there at 7.30 Monday morning. This is almost 2 a.m. on Tuesday morning. And we've still got some ice in there. Okay, this is 7.10 the next morning. This has been almost 24 hours. Let me see if I can get the lid off. It's hard to do this one-handed. There is still ice in there. It has been almost 24 hours. In another 20 minutes, it'll be 24 hours, and there's still ice in this cup. Well, I'll let you know when it melts. <laughs> okay, guys, this is Tuesday at 4.49 p.m. There's still ice in there. It's pretty much melted. Let me see how big of a chunk it is. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Well, oh yeah, there's that big of a chunk. And there's a little more in there. So, if you need a cup that will keep eyes for a while, here we go. This is from 7.30 Monday morning until 4.49 Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> I think I'll put it back in there and see when it actually really does melt. All right, bye. Okay, guys, it is 7.44 p.m. on Tuesday. It was 7.30 in the morning on Monday that I put the ice in here. I've loosened the lid, so I won't have so much trouble getting it off. And there is still ice in there. I promise I haven't done anything but let it sit on the counter. There's that much ice. That looks dirty, but it's not. It's just a reflection. Um, and there's still some little chunks in there. Uh, that is keeping ice frozen for quite a while. Honestly, if I saw somebody else do this, I'd be saying, yeah, right. <laughs> But I promise, I filled it full of ice, put the lid on it, let it sit here. The only time I moved it was I moved it over to the counter when I had to use the oven. And the morning I put the ice in there <clears throat> at 7.30, my daughter came over about, I don't know, lunchtime. And she says, why is it so hot in your apartment? And I had been... In you know, working around here and going like crazy, and I thought I was hot, but I thought it was just because I was up moving around. And she checked my air conditioner, and it wasn't working. And so she checked the breaker box, and one of the breakers had popped. Why I don't know. It's never done that before in the four years I've lived here. But anyway, my air conditioner hadn't been on, and it was 99 outside. <laughs> so it was in a pretty warm apartment for the first. I don't know, five or so hours. But anyway, if you need a cup that you want ice to stay frozen in, go to Walmart, get you one of these. That's the little emblem thing on it. This is not a sponsored video. Walmart doesn't know me, but dang, they should make me uh, do a commercial for them. All right, guys. This is really, really the end. Bye. <laughs>